important. They're a visual reminder of knowledge that took place uh, among indigenous people. Because the sun shines through those prisms and makes different um, spectrums throughout, it was conveying how Native people have used very natural things, such as the sun, as a part of their daily life. There are two sets of prisms in each piece I do. There are a set of prisms for summer, a set of prisms for the winter half of the year. And when you get to the equinoxes, spring and fall, all the prisms are working, actually. These prisms were incorporated in the theme of the Potomac in relation to the sun. So on December 21st, the uh, winter solstice, right at noon, the white light appears there and goes straight out north, and then all the way up the, the wall the dome is the, uh, the prism rainbow. The two prisms that are not horizontal are part of the summer solstice spectrum. It's three blocks of spectrum that then come together and pass through each other. Every day the prisms cross the north-south line through the Potomac at solar noon. The winter version of the piece is quite different from the summer. So you have the spectrum not changing just by each hour during the day, but you have it changing with the seasons. It has to do with knowledge of the Earth, of the Earth's movement, of the positioning of the stars and of the sun during different seasons. All of that would be a combination of showing when it was time to harvest, when it was time to hunt this animal, when it was time to sing these songs or tell these stories. I looked down the other day and there was a girl lying on the floor, her face all in purple, um, taking a picture of herself. What the whole purpose of the window and the sun coming in is showing how such things as a calendar system, like the prisms in which it's mimicking, coincide with architecture, can coincide with natural formations to come together and tell us things about the natural world.